The deaths associated with the drug Molly, or MDMA, at Boston's House of Blues in late August was only the beginning of a string of deaths and overdoses from this drug in the Northeast, something that shouldn't be lethal in its basic form. A drug that can be perfectly safe at one dose in pure form can be very dangerous at a high dose or in another form or mixed with other drugs or taken under circumstances that aren't the right circumstance. In the club environment, they can be overheated, dancing whatever kind of dance they like to do, and it gets hot, and people get sweaty, and then in addition, there's a drug on board. Yet these circumstances are some of the reasons that people are interested in taking the drug. One user connects Molly's popularity with the rise of electronic dance music and the scene that goes with it. Taking Molly, you get a very excited type of euphoric sense. So if you're there, you have the music blasting, you're dancing around, it just it, it all goes together pretty naturally. Molly isn't hard to acquire. There are enough people, especially in a city like Boston, where you could definitely find it through someone. Part of the reason why Molly can be so lethal is because it's acquired in this connection-based way. A basement laboratory, let's say there's a side reaction, and it's not detected, because the motivation in this case is just money. Let's make the drug and sell it. And you, there's no validation. Of it is what you think it's going to be. The recent deaths and overdoses have resulted in tightened security at events in the greater Boston area in an effort to prevent the use of Molly as well as other club drugs. For BUTV 10, I'm Carolyn Maynard.